It's the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joey, and this is the second episode in our World Domination Beginners Let's Play. So today we're going to be continuing on, and right off the bat here, we learn about the campaign and our objective. So our next objective is going to be San Francisco, so we're going to go ahead and fight here. We're going to go travel that city, and at the end of this objective, we're going to be getting the flare. I like it. So we're going to go ahead and continue here. The flare is right there, looking nice. It looks pretty good. So flare is going to be distracting zombies, so we're going to go and click there. We're going to fight. We got our team all set. So like I was saying, the flare, you, you kind of use it the same as a Stim Z skill. You're going to take it. You're going to drag it. And wherever you leave it, that's where all the zombies are going to be kind of flooded towards. So here we go. Put me in, boss. All right. Let's go ahead and put Captain Zeta in here. I'm going to go put Captain Zeta right there. I'm going to have my sniper right in the back by the hospital. Now I'm going to go ahead and put, where's our first wave going to be coming from? All right. So we're going to be focused in on this area over here. So I'm gonna put all these guys right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put down. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna leave that. So let's go ahead and stall it. We can use the rally points to go ahead and put Captain Zeta here. We can go ahead and put everybody right here in the middle and just have everything sort of flooded in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and draft these last two last two units. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we pretty much have everybody just kind of flooded right here in the middle. This is a perfect kind of strategy for this map just because it allows everyone to be pretty much involved or engaged in the specific attack that's happening at that moment so i'm gonna go ahead and move all the rally points right here to the center just to make everything easy i'm gonna go ahead and stim up everybody and let's start adding some more people to the mix so i'm gonna throw two more firefighters and let's go ahead and put another gunfighter on this pad with a medic let's put the medic on this pad for now so it looks like a spitter is getting hold of that first gunfighter. I feel like she's gonna have to go down however we can just go ahead and replace her on this pad right here looks like those Mm, those spitters are hanging back a little bit. Should have put my sniper. So, fun tip for the future, guys. Go ahead and put your snipers in the area where they're going to be able to kind of reach all these mutated zombies to help pick off those various spitters and things like that just to help out. So, right now, we're going to be having, we're going to have people coming from every single wave, every which way here. We're going to have one sniper heading down that lane. Perfect. Looks like we've got some infectors here. Now, these are a new mutated zombies. Now, this is a very interesting little strategy, guys. I don't know if I would recommend it 100%, <laughs> but I'm just trying it for this first round, and it seems to be working all right now. It's doing okay. I can't, I'm can't. i not complaining with it just yet. Looks like we're handling it all pretty well, and it's working. <laughs> but I'll, I'll kind of change it up in the next uh, level here. We just got to pick off these last couple spitters, and they are wiped out. So that works. If you just kind of put all the rally points right there, it gets the job done. It does more than enough, and it'll get you past that next round. So there's the first one. Let's see what we got here. Looks like we got a new player. Here we got the Lumberjack. So this is very similar to the Firefighter. It's got a whole lot of health, except it's got a sweet slice in motion. Oh, I know that was cool, guys. But um, it's got a pretty good slicing motion. It pretty, it's really good for taking out all these drones. It's perfect for that. We got some new rations. We got some cans. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and continue on to the next level. So... While we're going here, we're just gonna, I'm going to go ahead and complete this training right here. Now, upgrading. Right now, you want to have a really balanced team, almost one of each of these beginning troops. You're going to have at least one sniper. You want to have at least one medic. You want to have at least one firefighter. And you want to have at least one gunfighter. And once you start getting more and more units, you can kind of evolve, you kind of change it up, switch it up a little bit. But right off the bat, you want to have at least one of each unit. Just because you want to have a really balanced team with a whole lot of depth in it. So I'm going to go ahead and start upgrading my firefighter. I'm going to get my firefighter up to level 5 first. And I'm just going to kind of work that way down. So let's go ahead and start that training. I'm going to get my firefighter up to level 5 first. That's my personal goal. You guys can go with your gunfighter maybe first. Or Captain Zeta. Or your sniper. Either way it's going to work. But I'm personally going to work on my firefighter. Because I want that tanky, brutish area kind of set. Because I want them to take as much damage as they can and do their job. So let's go ahead and fight here and go on to the next step in the campaign i'm going to go ahead and go through san francisco today and we'll move on to the next city in the next episode but continue so our team we can update it and i can throw in one of my lumberjacks so let's go ahead and get that lumberjack in there and as you can see i have a very there's one of each unit here i have two gunfighters which is perfect this is pretty much the perfect when you're first starting out and it's pretty much just going to start working up from there and this is perfect for now so this is what you have you're doing well so we're in san francisco here the second battle i believe it's going to be a very similar map but who knows what are we going to run to? Oh, we got to change here. So the Lumberjack will mow down drones. Yes, it will. That is extremely correct. It will pretty much just dominate for you. So what I'm going to do here, 
I'm going to kind of move this guy back, move the gunfighter up just a bit, and I'm going to put two lumberjacks there with a medic. So this should really lock down this area here. Now, a snipers, I'm going to go ahead and move these guys into the center area here, and this will give them two different directions. As you can see, it's going to have that little V there, and that will give them visuals to each pad. So we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and start these waves because we're just going to be looking at this area over here. And looks like we don't have anyone over here. I'm going to go ahead and throw down one gunfighter just because. And I'm going to throw Captain Zeta here and then the rest of my crew down there. Let's go ahead and move the lumberjack, get him involved over there. So as you can see, these guys take out drones without a problem. These guys, that's what they do. They take out drones for a living. That's what their job is. And we got that EMT medic just going to town. I feel like there's another name that I keep calling them medics. I'm going to have to check that after that. After this attack, I feel like there's another name for it, but I could be completely wrong. I'm not even sure. So off the races here, those snipers are picking off those runners without problems. So I would definitely try to keep your one sniper at least upgraded to a pretty high level just so it can take out those mutated zombies a little bit easier. So as you can see, we can actually send these waves earlier to get a bit of a time bonus. And I'm feeling very confident with my team set up here. And I'm going to go ahead and start sending these waves early. And this will get you more trophies, more cans. It'll just pretty much improve your rewards. So... Let me go ahead and throw down some more people here. Let's go ahead and throw another lumberjack down here to go help out, take out people. Let's go ahead and stim them up, give them a little extra juice. And we are just locking down defense here. Got to take out that infector. A couple more drones, it looks like. And we will be good to go. Take out that last infector. Bang, bang. We got 375 trophies. We are off to the races, guys. We are doing very well. So, looks like we got a bonus here. I love it. We got the max amount of trophies. Each unit deployed has stamina. Now, as you go through each level, your stamina gets depleted. Sadly, it's a cost of free to play. It's going to happen, guys. You guys are going to go downhill. You guys are going to get tired. You got to rest them up a little bit. But we still got one more attack in them. You're going to get three attacks out of each unit there. So you're going to want to add some depth. So mercenary, one of my personal favorites by far. Scatter shots and mercenaries, I swear by them. They are my favorite units by far, guys. And I think you guys are going to really learn to love them too. They're really a lot of fun. So we got two checks right there. We are killing it. We have one more here. And this last one, we're going to get the flare. This is just going to add to our skill set. So defend the flare factory and you'll be able to use flares against the zombies. I love it. We can just use more power here. So as you can see, looks like we got one more attack left in our guys. We're cruising, guys. We're cruising. So what do we got here? This is an interesting map here. So defend the fireworks factory to uncover the flare. So if we win this... We'll be good to go. So how do we want to defend this? So looks like right here in the center, we're going to be able to kind of move this back and forth, the rally point to kind of help out each of these pads. So for my, for myself, I want to personally do this. I'm going to throw down one sniper here. I'm going to move this pad back and I'm going to have this sniper over here in perfect visual of those. So he's going to help pick off people. Now, what do I want to do here? So this is going to be our first wave. I'm going to go ahead and put my lumberjack here. A firefighter we're going to put over there. Just kind of balance everything out. I'm going to put my first EMT with the lumberjack there and a gunfighter. That's going to set up that area very nicely. So we're going to have one guy up front taking damage, another person doing damage. We got a sniper back there taking out all the mutated zombies. So we're going to be pretty set there. Let's go ahead and start those waves and get them going. So we're pretty set over there. I'm feeling very confident. Let's go ahead and move this rally point over to kind of add some support. And Captain Zeta is going to go over here with this firefighter over here to deal with this next wave. So we're going to kind of have everything set over there. Everything's going to start cooling down get some more people going so looks like we're just barely keeping that lumberjack alive ah, just drop a couple more people and there we go let's go ahead and stim this group up so if we can get that emt kind of recharging a little bit quicker here and lumberjack's almost back to full health i love it so i can put a fire chief down there another emt a medic gunfighter let's go ahead and move these guys over to kind of help out over here and we are off to the races now so I'm waiting for the sniper here because I want to be able to pick off those spitters hanging in the back there. Come on. There we go. Come on. Go down. There we go. So we're pretty much set over here. Sniper's picking off those spitters for me. We are good to go. Let's go ahead and send these waves early. Just a little bit early. Just a little bit. And we're just going to start cruising through these guys. So we're basically set now. I'm not really thinking we're going to need any more help because that sniper in the back there is going to pick off all those spitters for me. Let me go ahead and put down another one. Ah! Are we going to lose more people? Are we? I don't even know. Oh my gosh. I was too slow to put down people. And it looks like we're slowly going down here. But we have plenty of guys to throw down just in case. Let me go ahead and stem up my lumberjack there. Pick off these couple last few spitters. And we will be good to go. There we go. I was too slow to react. But we still want it. No problem. 
So 353 trophies, can't complain without near perfect, and it looks like we're going to be able to get in that flare. So let's continue. As you can see, all of our guys are, they're done. They lost all their stamina. Let's go ahead and continue. There we go. What are our rewards? What do we have, folks? We have uh, 270 cans, another mercenary, and 270 more cans. I love it. I cannot complain with that, guys. Continue for me. And that's San Francisco. We completed it. What is our reward? Ooh, we got an epic unit. What is it? Be something good. Oh, it's a flare. I got <laughs> I got hyped for a second. I'm like, is that an epic unit already? That was crazy. Okay. But we got the flare, guys. That's another skill to add to it. And we can rate this app. And if you guys haven't already, go rate it. I will rate it once this video is over just because hmm, can't really do it right now. But go ahead and do that. I love the app. It's great. I'm having fun with it. I've loved this app for like a long time. But okay, so we can go ahead and research now. So this is how we're going to unlock different skills. This is how we're going to upgrade our skills and various things like that. So it's going to take eight hours. Not too bad. It could be worse. And that's going to make our flare available to us. Over here, we could upgrade the Stim Z, and that will decrease the cooldown from 20 to 18 seconds. But we're not going to do that today because we're working on the flare right now. So those are the different options, guys. And of course, okay, this is for the next thing, next objective. We're going to want to join a guild. That's going to be in the next video, guys. But thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.